Parasite, a film that has been described as flawless, masterpiece, and innovative. Those kind of words are more often thrown around this film than any other films in these past few years. Even two years after the 2019 Oscars, when Parasite took home four Oscars including Best Directing, Original Screenplay, Best International Feature, and became the first ever foreign film to win the Best Picture award. The praise of how great and mind-blowing the film is still hasn't ended. There is simply too much to love about this film, and it's not just about the acting and the humor, but also the technical production itself. The level of detail that director-writer Bong Joon-ho puts into the film is truly remarkable in every single way, such as how metaphors and symbolisms are embedded throughout the whole film. But one detail that specifically stands out to me is the use of physical architecture and scenic composition. After rewatching Parasite multiple times, I can't help but realize how the film strongly relies on architecture to tell the story as a whole, while also highlighting the bigger themes of the film, such as social class struggles. For example, Parasite uses specific features in the two houses, one being the Park House and one being the Kim House to contrast the living conditions as well as their social class. In this episode of Constructing a Film, we'll be taking a deep dive into exploring the purpose and meaning behind these architectural structures as well as the process of designing the sets. Spoilers ahead. Of course, we cannot talk about the architecture of the film without talking about the production designer, Ha Jun Lee the mastermind behind these iconic sets and modern architecture. Production designer는 시나리오라는 어떤 글로 되어 있는 언어를 처음 시각적으로 표현하는 사람이기 때문에 프로덕션 디자이너의 영향력은 굉장히 중요하다라고 생각을 합니다. It is truly impressive how Ha Jun Lee was able to express the story visually. Not only do the locations and houses look gorgeous, but also so realistic that they make the story so believable. The Park family home and the Kim family home are truly some of the most outstanding pieces of production design, and the way that these structures are created really adds a whole new layer of complexity to Parasite. There are two major locations in the film. Let's start off by looking at the Kim house. 기택집 같은 경우는 최대한 바닥 아래 놓여져 있는 어떤 공간을 표현하고자 했었었고 반지하라고 하는 곳이 반은 지하, 그다음에 반은 지상. 그래서 지하에 살지만 왠지 지상에서 사는 느낌이 조금은 들수 있게끔 만든 좀 우리나라만의 좀 독특한 공간이지 않을까. These semi-basement apartments actually do exist in Korea. These apartments were first built during the war between North and South Korea as bunkers in case of national emergency. After the war, the shelters were illegal to rent out, but due to a housing crisis in the 80s, the government decided to legalize these underground bunkers to be rented out as apartments. These apartments still exist until today and they are generally really affordable and small just like how it is portrayed in the film. The Kim house is really compact and has barely enough living space for the whole family. It consists of two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a living room with a dining table and kitchen. Bong always emphasizes specific details when collaborating with Lee. One of those details is the window in the living room that looks out into the street. The window has a unique look to it. It has an aspect ratio of 2.39 to 1, which is actually the aspect ratio of the film. Bong uses the window as a theoretical device to emphasize the socioeconomic level of the Kims, which we'll get into later. 
The window frames look out into the incredibly bleak and dirty world outside of the apartment, which the Kims view from a low angle beneath the ground. And that brings us to the next important symbol of the movie, the vertical relationship between spaces, which Bong and Lee used to emphasize the class struggle at the core of the film. Stairs after stairs, we can clearly see how the film emphasizes the vertical relationship between the Kim house and the Park house. The Kim house is physically below the ground, with terrible phone signals and a toilet that's literally at the top of a small staircase. The neighborhood where the Kims live is also well below the park's rich neighborhood. The path between these two homes consists of a lot of stairs and slopes, which again emphasizes the theme of class division, where the Kim family literally has to travel upwards to the park house similar to how they desire to climb the social ladder. Another part that emphasizes the vertical relationship is the flooding scene. The flood travels from the park neighborhood to the Kim neighborhood, literally from the top to the bottom. Just as the whole family follows the current, traveling downwards back to their own home, just to see their home completely flooded. This flood scene actually has one of the most complex set designs in the film. This scene was also really hard to film because of the water levels. Bong has also given him sketches of the house, which was later turned into a 3D model and simulation that helped Lee understand the space of the house better. The house has four floors. The top floor has multiple bedrooms, and the first floor consists of large living spaces like the living room and the dining room and the kitchen. The lowest floor is the underground bunker. Outside of the house is a large garden surrounded by trees and fences. The key difference between the park house and the Kim house is their size and scale. In front of the park house, there's a large window with an aspect ratio of 2.39 to 1, just like the window in the Kim house. They share the same aspect ratio, but one is incredibly small and claustrophobic, and the other one has been scaled up into something beautiful, spacious, and perfect. 
just like a nice photograph of a large living room and a garden. Vertical relationships continue to be important to the design of this house. The park house is located on the top of the hill, so the Kim family has to walk up the hill from their house every day. The house is also significantly elevated from the street level. Stairs continue to be an essential part of this film, and can be found everywhere in this house. From the entrance to the basement, stairs can be seen in almost every single shot. So naturally, when Lee designed the two houses, he also had to consider the look of the stairs. In the Richard Park house, the steps are wide and flat and easy to walk up and down. But at the Kim house, the stairs are steep and irregular. If someone misses a step, they could fall. This again contrasts the two completely different living conditions and show how the Kim family struggles in their living environment. 감독님이 나중에는 아, 이 영화가 계단 시네마가 아니야. 계단이 너무 많이 나오네. Lighting and coloring are also prominently used to show this high and low relationship. In a Kim's neighborhood, the lighting is mostly dark and grim and the buildings doesn't contain many saturated colors. But for the park house, the lighting is bright and warm. To achieve this lighting, they had to consider the sun's direction, Lee said. The sun's direction was a crucial point of consideration while we were searching for outdoor lots. We had to remember the sun's position during our desired time frame and determine the positions and sizes of the windows accordingly. In terms of the color, Lee actually removed a lot of colors from the design to make the house stylish and fancy. Furniture also played a huge role in achieving this look. 물론 부자들은 어떤 좋은 가구, 좋은 환경에서 사는 게 당연할 수도 있겠지만 굉장히 고가의 브랜드들이 직접적으로 노출이 안 됐으면 했었어요. 그래서 실은 가구 같은 것도 고가의 브랜드에서 나오는 그런 가구들이 아니라 좀 제가 디자인을 해서 좀 만들었으면 하는 바람이 애초부터 있었어요. 근데 그러기 위해서는 가구들을 다 만들어야 되니까 제작비도 많이 들고 여러 가지 공력들이 많이 들어가잖아요. 그래서 실은 찾던 중에 우연하게 그 박종선 작가님이라고 하는 가구 퍼니처 아티스트를 만나게 된 거예요. 근데 그분의 작품을 봤는데 제가 생각했던 머릿속에 그렸던 작품들하고 너무 흡사한 거예요. 그래서 그분들한테 부탁을 드려서 이 영화에 맞게끔 큰 가구들을 다 제작을 해 주시고 기존에 만들었던 가구들을 저희한테 빌려 주셔서 저희가 이제 세팅을 하게 된 거예요. 특히나 굉장히 중요했던 빅 테이블이 있었어요. 예. 기우하고 뭐 기정이하고 기태이가 들어가는 그 테이블이 있는데 그 테이블 같은 경우는 손수 이 영화 때문에 손수 저희하고 같이 회의를 해서 어, 디자인을 해서 제작을 한 어, 테이블이고 그 다음에 The Bunker The Bunker serves as a surprise twist to the viewer when the original housekeeper initially reveals it to us. The bunker is located under the park house. There's a bed and it's dark and grim with almost no lighting at all. The vertical relationship is also obvious here. There's a twisty and long staircase leading from the cellar of the park house to the bunker that seems to descend endlessly. <laughs> The bunker is also described as the very lowest space of the film. 실은 조금 막연했던 거는 사실이에요. 저는 그런 공간을 한 번도 경험을 해보지 않았고 감독님이 어, 어떤 레퍼런스를 보여주셨었어요. 그래서 그 레퍼런스를 통해서 실은 그 건물의 어떤 형체라든지 감독님 생각하시는 어떤 공간의 느낌들을 쉽게 알수 있었고 근데 어, 중요했던 거 사실은 이 공간조차도 끝없이 내려가야 된다. 제일 바닥에 있는 공간이다라는 거를 감독님이 얘기를 해 주셨고 Because Bong shared his thoughts with Lee, many nuances came to his head. 실제 근세 공간 같은 경우 보면은 
지하는 그냥 이렇게 바닥이 평평할 수 있는데 바닥이 이렇게 라운드가 이렇게 되어 있어요. 약간 하수구의 맨홀 같은 느낌이에요. 거기에 항상 물이라는 속성이 항상 흥건하게 좀 젖어 있었으면 했었어요. 그 느낌은 근세도 마찬가지고 나중에 기택의 집에 물이 차는 것도 마찬가지고 약간 지하의 어떤 음습하고 약간 습하고 물이 새고 이런 느낌들을 좀 같이 가지고 싶었었던 것 같아요. As the audience is watching the film, they think the living condition of the Kim house is horrific. But the reveal of the bunker shows that things could be even worse. The husband of the original housekeeper has been living in the bunker all along, and the housekeeper has been feeding him and keeping him alive. But in the end, Mr. Kim ends up killing the husband of the housekeeper, and the housekeeper was killed too, as well as the Park family. And that leaves Mr. Kim alive. But because of his own guilt, he decided to live in the bunker himself. It's ironic how he strives for a better life by scamming the rich and gets a taste of the upper class life, but ends up in an even worse position than where he started off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about Parasite from a different perspective. The reason I chose this film as a part of the series is because as an architecture lover myself, I think Parasite really utilizes architecture to its maximum potential in a way which is not only impressive but also very influential, showing how it can push the boundaries of storytelling. Not a lot of films can do that in my opinion, and this makes the film really special. and it really holds a special place in my heart even after two years. Thanks again for watching and please like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me as I've been working on this video for a very long time. Take care guys and see you in the next episode.